Hey, how's it going there, Nostalgia? It's Ryan from the Nostalgia Factor here back again with another gaming YouTuber interview. It's been a little bit since we've done one of these, but let's just get straight into it. So today's interviewee is Lee Do Gaming. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm so sorry if I butchered that. But contacted him. He was interested in the interview, and thus here we are he, today answering the questions that we have for him in this video. However, before we get started, if you guys want to check out his channel for yourselves and see what kind of content he produces, go and check out his channel, link in the description down below. He has various different ga types of gaming content, such as Let's Plays and things like that, that I think you guys should see for yourselves. Without any further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get straight into the interview. Hi, I'm Watson, and my channel is Ledu Gaming. Uh, big thank you to Ryan for posting on the, the what, small community, small YouTube channel community. And asking people like, hey, you want to do an interview? So yeah, here I am. What was the first game that you've ever played? Yeah, so the first video game I can remember ever playing is Pokemon Red for the Game Boy. Absolute fire game. God, dang, Nabbit. That wasn't that was supposed to be a pun. Anyways, it's a great game. And that's the earliest game I can remember playing. I think that's really what got me into gaming as a whole. Okay. What got you into playing or collecting video games? Okay, since my first game was Pokemon Red, I feel like the whole aspect of collect them all, do everything possible, I think that's really what got me into collecting video games and, like, built up, like, my whole want to continue playing. Um, which is weird, because during, during the 90s and all that, there was this great collect-a-thon nonsense, and so, like, it really, I guess, subconsciously, it's like, I gotta collect all the games I can, I gotta play all the games I can, because, like, I just gotta, like, collect them all. Because collect a thons. I, that's the only thing I can really think of, my dude, is the collect a thon mindset of the no early, the, the late 90s, early 2000s, where everyone's like, every game's a collect a thon. Let's just work platform and collect a thon. Let's do that. And I think that's what really got me in there. So, what's been a memorable experience for you in a game? I'd like to say, probably the most memorable experience in a game that, um, that I've played is. Probably the final boss fight in Donkey Kong 64, because like the rest of the game is it's subpar, really. It's a good game, but it's subpar. But then the final boss fight, you have all five Kongs, and you got like King K. Rool a boxing ring. You're just like duking it out with them, like what rare? What why? But at the same time, it's funny. It's like one of the funniest moments. Do all the cutscenes in between, like the the level the the phases of the fight, and like it just it's a fun fight. It's I don't know. It's stuck with me. It's, it's like my whole life since I did the bloody thing and like I love it like I think it's great so yeah that's my most memorable experience on a video game <laughs> what's one game that you found disappointing not necessarily a bad game but just one you personally found disappointing okay so aside from Fallout 77 okay let's let's skip Fallout 77 because that should be on everyone's number one piece of garbage list okay Pokemon let's go Eevee and in you know directly associated Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu. And the reason I found it disappointing was because it was a direct remake of Yellow. Not a remake of Fire Red or Leaf Green, which is what I went into the game thinking it was, because why would they backtrack? Why would they remove half the game? <laughs> that, that, why would they remove half the bloody game? But like, I mean, overall, it's still it was still a good game. I still play it on stream sometimes. I'm still shiny hunting, but <laughs> but like, once you beat the elite four for casuals, there's nothing to do. It's the game is done in like 20 hours. You pay 60 bucks for 20 hours. And that's not good. That's not okay in today's society, today's gaming scene. So that's the most disappointing game I've played, I guess, recently. Aside from Fallout 77, so, <laughs> yeah. What would you say is an all-time favorite game of yours? All-time favorite game. Okay, boys, we gotta sit down first, okay? Because we got, okay, even though I said DK64 is bad, I love it. But then there's also Banjo-Kazooie, which is fire. There's also the Johto games, the remakes and originals. They're both great. Bloody... And Pokemon Johto, of course, I'm trying to say. Pokemon Johto, you know, silver, gold, crystal, that, that, that nonsense. But then there's all, like, it's so, uh, it's Pokemon games in general, I gotta say. My all-time favorite, though, all-time favorite game. Ooh! I, probably Banjo-Tooie, actually. Let's let's be real. Banjo-Tooie, it was great. It, renova it innovated, it didn't renovate crap. It innovated a lot. It gave you the whole splitting models 
thing that was it was just great. Like it was just a great it was a great game, guys. Like I I realize a lot of my games I'm talking about are sixty four related. Wow, I'm golly. It's almost like the Xbox region didn't have anything worth mentioning or anything. Joking, of course. Joking. Okay. What style of game would you say is your favorite to play, such as shooters, RPGs, platformers, that kind of thing? Okay, let's be real. I, my favorite style to play is probably platformers right now. Like, And it's really because I'm so burnt out with shooters that I've gone back to platforming and just, like, I guess even RPGs, like, just in general. So, like, that's probably where I'm, that's where I'm chilling at right now, okay? Like, platforming's, platformers probably my favorite right now. Absolutely. Like, Mario Odyssey, thing was great. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. What's a favorite track or tracks from a game or certain games that you've played? Favorite video game music? Oh, lord. Um. Okay. My favorite music from video games, um any point i guess wow there's so much good music in video games because like even games that i'm not like wow it's the greatest game ever made there's some really great music in those okay for instance doki doki literature club the ending sequence song that thing is great that is like one that's probably my favorite part of the about that entire game if you can check my channel we have the i've played through it done all the roots i've hired percent the goofy game but the ending song is what really took like made it like one of my favorite games um but at the same time i gotta go back to you know, pokemon like the indigo plateau or the the one like, i want to say like the the Cal i guess the indigo plateau theme like you you hear it and you're like dude this is kanto you and you they play it like they have it like all the time it's a it's a, rep a song that repeats in like pretty much every game and it just it's just good it's just it's a nice nostalgia trip that's I'm hitting this soldier a lot with this interview. Holy crap. But yeah, it's like... But then there's also play... I recently played Undertale. And the, Met the Metroid... Not the, the, not Metroid. The... that Their main song. Like the... the Golly. The Papyrus song. I think that's pretty good. Okay. <laughs> the battle music is pretty good. So yeah, I guess I, I have to go with... Uh, I got the Pokemon with this one, actually. Pokemon music. It's, it's pretty... It's pretty lit, boys. Pretty good. And what's one game that you would like to see remade or remastered for modern day? Remastered or remade? Remade, okay, so forget the whole remaster thing. I think remastering is dumb if the game looked like crap. Like, if it's like low polygon count and all that, just remake it. Don't 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 remaster that crap. Twilight Prince HD, I'm looking at you. I'm looking right at you. But no, okay, so yeah, go like, remade. Donkey Kong 64, 100%. They need to remake that. Nintendo has got like, needs to get the rights to, to like, every, whatever they don't have the rights to. And get that game remade. Also, Banjo, Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie. Like I know they're remastered up on the uh, Xbox Store, but they need remade. Like they, they, they need remade. Um, so yeah, those are two games I would love to see remade. Of course, there's Pokemon Sinnoh, like like Sinnoh, you know, Gen Four. That's in the we know that's in the works. We know that's like next year, two years from out. Out we we know we just we know it's coming. So yeah. Banjo Kazooie, Banjo Tooie, or Donkey Kong 64. Either of those three would be super awesome, my dudes. Absolutely awesome. Ryan, thank you so much for having me on today. It means a lot. Um, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you uh hope it helps you get into my mindset a little better about what type of games I do enjoy. And now, of course, the YouTube channel does not reflect that at all, because on the YouTube channel is a ton of anime nonsense. But that's what my people want. That's what my subscribers here want. All my Nintendo and, like, you know, Switch content is over on Twitch, which is, you know, where I do most of my content anyways. But YouTube is a lot of fun, so I keep up with it. Again, thanks you. Thanks you. Golly. Yeah, thanks again for having me. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I don't know. Adios. <laughs> And that's going to do it for today's video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy watching today's interview. Uh, big thanks to Lee Do Gaming. Again, once again, hopefully I'm saying that correctly for being on the channel. Uh, it was really cool doing this interview with you, man. Really do appreciate it. If you guys want to go check out his content for yourselves, which I do highly recommend, go and check him out in the description down below and see what he has to offer and see what content's for you. With all that in mind, Nostalgics, this has been Ryan from the Nostalgia Factor saying, like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed. And keep on gaming.